the United Kingdom has always got so much going on, whether it's the constant moving or the timeline for the COVID-19 restrictions being moved or royal family news. And who better to find out how things are in the British Isles than the eloquently spoken, always well-dressed Professor Tim Wilson, political analyst. Hello, sir. Hello, it's nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. I, you're looking spectacular as usual. Thank you for joining <laughs> you us here much. on A News. So, lots going on in the UK. Let's start off with, uh, we've just seen Boris Johnson giving it his all about uh, praising the vaccination programme and COVID. And, you know, so many people have had their first jab. But we've also heard contradicting news that the 19th of July final is all over. Let's go back to normal. Could be changed again. What do you hear there? Well, yes, we're, we, 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 we're getting a lot of mixed messages. But, but the COVID scandal has now been personalised by, uh, by, by, by the Matt Hancock story. Indeed. Um, Matt and, Hancock, and indeed. Boris just misses this. And it's, it's just the Westminster bubble. But, 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 but it's clearly not. Um, we, we know that Boris thought that Matt Hancock was hopeless, or words to that effect. Um, but this morning... Um, in the uh, uh, in, in Parliament, the leader of the opposition brought up uh, again. He tried to personalise COVID, and he brought up the story of Oliver Bibby, who was 27 and died of leukaemia, and his mother Penny was not able to see him before he died. And we're getting stories like this, uh, and we contrast these with the story of Matt Hancock. Um, who was locked in, uh, in, in the clinch with uh, Gina uh, Colodangelo. And it seems to be um, one rule for ministers and an entirely different rule for everybody else. And it doesn't matter how much glitter Boris is throwing uh, in the face of this problem. Uh, at the moment, we're, we're now told the, the, the big effort is to find out um, who leaked the photograph of, um, of Colodangelo and Matt Hancock in their, in, in, in their clinch. And, and, and there's even stories uh, that MI5 are investigating um, sort of lurid ideas uh, that there's a Russian plot behind this. Um, it, it, it seems to me improbable. It seems to me that if, if you have a boss um, like Matt Hancock who has a problem uh, keeping control of the trouser department, okay. then he's probably fairly reckless in other parts of his public life, and he's probably earned as much hatred inside his department mm -hmm. uh, as he has undoubtedly stirred up outside since the story became public. And people are simply incensed by the level of hypocrisy on display. And I think just as the uh, coming story last year... Uh, um, signal uh, sort of public um, dismay and, uh, and and a lack of um, uh, 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 of going along with the first lockdown. So I think the Matt Hancock scandal is going to is, is going to puncture the goodwill uh, that, that, we, that we've seen so far and and all the efforts to uh, to move this forward and to vaccinate and, uh, and, and and to defeat the virus. This this. This is, again, where one individual has managed to bankrupt the whole effort. And, and, and it doesn't stop there, because now we're getting stories about um, personal emails being used, uh, not only by Matt Hancock himself, and you're showing pictures of Matt Hancock there, mm -hmm. um, and, but, 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 but also by um, other people in his department, like there's a lady called Helen Wakeley, uh, and they're conducting official business by personal email. Uh, this is the sort of thing that Hillary Clinton was accused of. Um, and, and then we've got the dodgy deals which are coming out. Uh, uh, you know, um, Gina Colodangelo's brother, I think his name is Roberto. Um, apparently there's nothing inappropriate happening in what he, in, in, in the deal that he was given by the uh, department, uh, by the NHS. But the optics look bad, um, given given the fact that Matt Hancock had given um, a uh, uh, had awarded a deal to um, 
a man called Alex Bourne, I think, who, uh, who who was supposed to be making test tubes, but he wasn't in the test tube business. He ran he ran the cock in in Mr. Hancock's own constituency. I, this is wow. this is dodgy. If I, it's, it's almost like I, I, the I, scandalous Whitehall days of the eighties and nineties again. Um, oh, I think I, 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 I think it's like the days of the Borgia Popes. I think this is nepotism and um, well, and, and well, cronyism. absolutely. I mean, this uh, the, like has, a sweet nepotism. It is, and so well, you have a new health minister, and I, I assume that yeah. he's praised and liked. Uh, he's got uh, a. Well, he's, He's a very impressive man with, with with a really impressive sort of work pedigree. I mean, uh, until Dominic, until he fell out with Dominic Cummings, he was he, he he had the highest office in the land, other than being prime minister. He was the chancellor of the exchequer. He was in charge of money. This is a man who is safe, who is secure. I think he's I think he's now held the top office in six departments. So wow. um, he's somebody who ought to be able to get his head round. The problems of the health service. He is determined, he says, that everything will go will, will, will go smoothly, and we will open up on July the nineteenth. And the theatres, thank God, will be opened on Tim, July I, the nineteenth. Tim, I was going to ask you that. At was, the same time. Sorry, Tim. I was going to ask you. you no, know, I mean we hear about restrictions around the world, but what on a day to day basis? What restrictions, specific restrictions, are currently in place in the UK now? And when they say all, you know, all restrictions will be removed on the 19th of July, what, what does that mean? I mean, are there, are there still lockdowns there in the UK, especially with this oh, Delta uh, variant absolutely. around? Absolutely. We, 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 we have effective lockdowns. Um, we, we, uh, until I think yesterday, there was, a, um, uh, th th there was a problem with travel between Scotland and Manchester. Uh, that, was, that, that was relaxed yesterday. Um, we, 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 we have the demand for mask wearing in public. Mm -hmm. um, we have a, a reduction on the number of people that you can see. Weddings are now available. Okay. Um, but, you know, theatres are closed. This is something that's particularly upset um, Andrew Lloyd Webber. But, you know, this is destroying the arts industry. It's destroying um, television and, uh, and, and the film industry. There are some films that are being made, but it's very, very difficult with, mm -hmm. with, 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 with testing and various things and with Harrison Ford suffering injuries. Um, but you, you know, if you look around, the stories which are sort of creeping onto our front pages are stories like, for example, um, t today there was a story about Israel demanding um, uh, face masks again indoors. And this is despite the fact that Israel is, like Britain, extremely well advanced in vaccinating. Now, I wonder if these stories are being fed to us so that we will get to uh, July the 19th. And although on paper we might find that the lockdown is being eased, in practice there will be so many extra rules that lockdown... Um, lockdown easing is effectively impossible. Yeah, um, it's like a, a precursor um, uh, to such, such a, a precursor to yeah, uh, sort of like, hey, you know, the whole world is still suffering, even though we're still way, way ahead. You know, we need to we yeah. need to be careful. Uh, it's, it's, ta it's I wonder. These go back to uh, Matt Hancock. These tapes leaked. Is there a breach in Whitehall? I mean, how well, do how do these tapes get leaked anyway? Um, well, I, there's a little bit of me which doesn't want to go down that route because okay. I don't want to. Well, we'll leave it I, that I, 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 I don't want to encourage that sort of speculation because I think there's much bigger issues about the hypocrisy and about um, uh, his his bad behaviour. But I, but but of course I'm I, I'm fascinated by how these things got leaked. I suspect it's as simple as a disgruntled employee, a disgruntled civil servant. If, if, if there is foreign interference, this is very interesting because um, this, is, this is in a secure location within government. This is in the, in, in the office of a major secretary of state, of one of the great heads of, um, of, of one of the great departments of state. Mm -hmm. This is in itself shocking. It's almost as shocking of, as, um, as Mr. Hancock's wandering hands, though I, you know, I, 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 I think there's a limit to that. But, but the okay. fallout is, is astonishing because, because no, we've I, got this yeah. 
hate, hatred developing, um, even to the extent of people chasing the chief medical officer, a man, a man called Chris Whitty, mm -hmm. in the park, and, and about two days ago, walking past his house and screaming hateful slogans at him. This is frightening. So if we're doing a, a, a job in Parliament mm -hmm. and we can't, uh, you know, the people who are doing those jobs are not secure, they're not safe. Mm -hmm. This is a very, very worrying... Um, let, let, let's move on, Tim, because uh, you and I, could, we could chat about this for ages. Let's talk about the royal family. Yeah. Let's talk about the royal family. We you and I had a chat uh, oh this my afternoon. Well, you know, I... <laughs> well, I think the royal family, in a way, is wheeled out when things get particularly painful for us. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and you know that the Queen has been doing photo opportunities for the last two days. I, yesterday, she was, um, she was with Prince William... Um, in an iron brew factory, and Prince William was sampling iron brew, and today she's with Princess Anne um, at, a, at, a, at a wonderful children's learning centre out, outdoors called the Children's Wood Project, and she's she's looking radiant and, and smiling, beaming at everybody, and she really is doing her job incredibly well. And I also believe she's uh, she's made contact with Harry, who's here for... Uh, there, there you've got a picture of Harry and Meghan... Um, and Archie, I think, but uh, and um, well, there's been a new baby you know, since Archie, hasn't there? There's been a new baby as well. Uh, um, uh, sorry, Lilibet, Lilibet. But, uh, but 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 Harry is here for the unveiling of a statue to his mother on the on what would have been her 60th birthday, which is tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And this statue is in the grounds of Kensington Palace. And uh, William and Harry will unveil it. But before that, there'll be no wives at the official ceremony. That, no. uh, that sorts out the... No. Uh, of really? Megan and Kate. But Kate and, yeah, Kate and the children are going to have a private view, apparently, before the ceremony. So the royal family is really doing its work and, and uh, maybe providing a sort of distraction for the misery that... Um, that, that, we're, that we're going through, um, but they're working very hard. And I, I, I think the greatest news that we could see in the next few days would be a reconciliation between Harry and his brother William. And so, certainly, the, the stories which are coming out uh, are, are, are that Harry is 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 keen for that reconciliation. That he feels homesick. That he uh, that that he feels um, maybe that he's that he's gone too far. Mm. Um, you know, he certainly he certainly you know. He, you, you caught you caught the media and the gossip columnists um, with caution because uh, you, you sure. know, we know we know we know, we know how the tabloids work in in the UK very much so, very much so and 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 Absolutely. I miss them actually sometimes especially on the sun, <laughs> sun, on Sunday just to uh, just to give me a giggle or two of what's been yes. said but you're right okay so well yeah. That's a nice roundup. Let's hope that we're all done with this COVID because I well, can't imagine. You can't imagine how many times I have said the word COVID or coronavirus in my in this last year. But absolutely. But you know, the other thing which is worrying is is the whole Euro um, twenty twenty. It's it, 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 the Euro twenty twenty games being played this year. But so many people have travelled down to London and. And, and, and Wembley, for example, restricted the amount of tickets that were available. I think there are only about uh, um, 2,000 tickets available. But wow. 20,000 Scottish people came down. Mm. And we now learn that there's, that, that there's about uh, 2,000 2, infections among people from the age of 20 to 39. So the idea that we can have these mass gatherings without danger... And, and even if people are vaccinated, they can still get um, what, what is described as a mild form of COVID, but it's still pretty nasty, I understand. Um, you know, what is the route out of, uh, uh, out of the pandemic? And it simply isn't clear. We, uh, Sajid Javid says mm. that we have to learn to live with this, and I think that's probably the best advice that, that, um, the, that we could get. But it is a balance between going back to the normality and because we've all had 18 months or two years of this, two years is a long time, you know, and, and I'm sure it's not good for the mental health, it's not good for anything. I and mean, we all, we're social beings, social human beings, and we need to be out and about. But Professor Tim Wilson, always a pleasure to see you, sir. Thank you so much for joining me today here on A News. We'll catch up again soon. Of course, England won yesterday against Germany. Let's oh, see yes. how they do 
against the Ukraine at the weekend. Thank you, sir, for your time, and we'll speak again Thank soon. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. Right. Lots of news going on in the UK and we'll always bring you 